Final Web Design. This is Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey, how are you doing today? Good, how are you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> well, thanks for taking time to chat. Uh, I guess I'll turn off my video here. Um, yeah, well, thanks for taking the time. Uh, my name is Steve Carlson. I'm the design, design ops senior product uh, owner here at Ameriprise. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of uh, looking for a uh, front-end de developer to add to our team. And uh, yeah, Ramstad sent me your resume and I thought your, uh, you know, your experience looked great. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to talk to you and get a, get a better feel for, for you and kind of what you're looking for. Um, so yeah, do you want to maybe tell me a little bit about your, your experience and kind of where you're looking to go uh, in your next role? Yeah, absolutely. Did, uh, did my video stop? Uh, yeah, I'm just seeing a white screen right now. It's weird. Really? I get a message on my Microsoft Teams that says, Video stopped working. Try unplugging and plugging in your webcam or switch to another device. Oh, weird. I feel like Teams has been having issues this week, so it might not be, might not even be an issue with, um, it... with your machine or anything. And it's probably, just, yeah, it's still, still just, um, yeah, I don't see anything. <laughs> Maybe I need to update my teams it's been a little while since i've used teams oh okay that that could be it are you so you're not in the browser you're using the the app yeah i'm actually using the app which was pre-installed uh but it's probably been a few months since i've used it sure well no worries we don't we, we don't <laughs> we don't need it okay as long as you're okay with that expecting. i just um yeah, yeah no, so no worries. i've been uh working front-end development for quite a while since I graduated from the University of Minnesota in, gosh, 2008 now. So um, a lot of front end, uh, mostly I've been working with Vue.js and some React projects. And that's kind of, I guess the last few years of work has been mostly on there. Before that, I would do a lot of CMS platforms, uh, WordPress, Joomla's, things like that so mm -hmm. is there do you have like kind of preferred uh languages you like to work in or like what's kind of your you know if you if you could design your own role like what technologies would you be using kind of on a day-to-day -day basis well i've really come to like view i think it's kind of okay. uh it's it's got a lot to offer i like that it's more of like an open source community as opposed to like React, which is built by uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. So it's more, it doesn't have yeah. that corporate under, it's got that open source feeling and just kind of people contributing the best of everything. Um, it's also a little bit newer, so it's kind of had time to take the best of things like Angular and React and, and kind of bring them to, to life in the newer platform. But really it's, I'm open to anything front end. It's not super important. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, we, um, our team, we, you know, we kind of um, bump up against React. We don't have to author a lot of it ourselves, if at all. I don't think we write any React, but um, really? okay. kind of what, what we do, and I'm not sure how, like how much context Randstad uh, gave you, but um, so what our team does, the design ops team, we, we are responsible for creating and maintaining the uh, design system here at Ameriprise. So all of our public and um, client websites uh, that consumers use uh, leverage that design system. And really what we do is we just write HTML, CSS, a little bit of JavaScript here and there, and then we, we ship that to our product teams that then consume it. Um, and they will actually bring it into React on their side. So oh, um, we don't really have to do much of any React ourselves, uh, but nice that you've had experience with it. Yeah, that's that's great. So you guys basically just build the foundations and then they finish it mm -hmm. as the components or the modules or whatever is being built. Yep, exactly. Yep. Gotcha. So okay. it's 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 nice in that regard because it's pretty pretty cut and dry. I mean, um, you know, we we run into challenges here and there just with um, you know kind of the the technology that um, you know our engineers use outside of design ops. Um, but beyond that, I mean, yeah, we're really only responsible for kind of the the bare bones, like any JS that gets written is vanilla. Um, so okay. that part of it's nice. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just kind of curious, like, 
with the the breadth of experience you've had, like is you know uh, writing CSS and HTML something that that would appeal to you, or is that kind of uh, would that kind of bore you? No, absolutely. That's that's as a front end developer when it comes to HTML, CSS, and even the JavaScript. It's it's I love all of it. It doesn't bore me okay. by any means. Um, you know, if you're using CSS frameworks or you're using like Bootstraps or any type of you know third party uh, library, I can also work a lot with that and have a lot of experience. Um, you know, with front end CSS and HTML. You know, five the latest mm -hmm. stuff. So, yeah, no, that sounds that sounds great. Um, are there like are there any any things from your past experience that you would be interested in in, in like maybe trying to to bring into a role like this? And and just as an example, you know, like um, there's some people on uh, different teams that you know their their core job isn't like accessibility, but they have a passion for us. So they kind of look to bring it bring it uh, into their roles. Um, I'm just curious if there's if there's anything that you really gravitate towards um, that that you'd be interested in, like trying to bring bring in. Well, what I've kind of noticed over the last maybe three four years in front end technology and front end development is things have really kind of hit like a pinnacle. It's not where you know you're getting all these new frameworks and these new languages and these new like kind of the pieces that are being used, especially at a corporate level, are kind of established now. And I don't, I haven't mm -hmm. seen things changing as much as I used to, you know, five years ago when a lot of these frameworks and, you know, mobile stuff mm -hmm. and application stuff were, were newer technologies. I feel like now things for the last few years have kind of hit a, mm -hmm. a standard, a best practice. Um, mm -hmm. And it's really working you know, there's not, I just don't see things evolving as quick anymore, which is actually pretty nice because for a while there with all these new frameworks and languages and things were getting a little overwhelming. And I think the industry kind of needed to find the best tools and just continue using those. And that's where I think things are kind of. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, that, that totally makes sense. Cause like even on our side, I remember, you know, years ago it was like, so, some engineers would be wanting to use Vue, some Angular, some Riot, some React, and it was just kind of like all over the, the place. And now pretty much everyone settled on on React. So. Right. That's exactly <laughs> what I mean is like there's, they have now yeah. kind of the best ones that at least at the corporate level that people are, are familiar with and seem to work good. And I think it's it's good for the jobs and for the industry to kind of be at that stage because again, like you said, there are just so many different things with the the different frameworks and it's just getting to be a little bit crazy. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, well, awesome. Um, trying to think, uh, like, what kind of questions, if any, do you do you have for me? Like, anything I can answer for you or? or... You know, give you more context for. So when you said that you're kind of building stuff and then it's being shipped to more of a production team, is that with like um, some type of project management software or like an Angular Scrum mm -hmm. type meeting setup, or how how does a project organize for the development? Yeah, so so we we kind of uh, choose our own adventure. So we, you know, as this brand, we're a small team. I should mention that too. I'm this, the senior product owner. I came from the design side. We've got a design technologist, Mike, who does, uh, you know, a lot of the actual design of the components uh, and the design oh, system website. Um, but he, oh, there we go. There we hey, go. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Good to see it. There's a little icon um, down so there. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, and then um, and then we've got uh, Cam, who's a front end engineer, and then Pete, who is kind of a JavaScript uh, engineer. Um, so it's a small team. There's there's four of us, um, and then so so like I said, we work on the components. We kind of work on whatever we we have identified that we want to work on. The um, for Adele Ad Adele is the name of the design system, which stands for uh, Amir Prize Design Engine uh, De Design Engine and Library. Okay. So, you know, we'll do incremental releases or like, you know, major releases, they get shipped out to product teams that we support, um, but we're not necessarily beholden to them. Like they can come to us looking for support or they might say, you know, we're looking for a component that does X or Y. And then we'll kind of plot out how, how are we going to design and develop it? You know, when can we ship it? That sort of thing. 
it's kind of up to those individual product teams uh, to stay up to date with the adult releases. So, you know, there's some that are a couple, you know, minor versions behind. There's even one that's like a major version behind, which is becoming an issue because they've got a product designer who's, you know, bringing in designs to the team that they aren't equipped to, to build out yet. So that's a whole different issue. Um, but so basically we just ship, ship them uh, NPM package that they can install um, and then deploy it, you know, within their projects in, independently of, of us. So we just let them know, we, we kind of, you know, have an email that we'll send out or let them know in, in our Slack channel or something like, hey, there's a new version of Adele uh, that you can download, you know, it's your project file and, and go from there. And then if they have issues and, you know, with that, we support them. Um, but for the most part, it, it works really, really smooth. Got you. And is it actually like the Ameriprise application that you're working on or is it like internal applications for the company? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, internal internal applications. I mean, mostly it's uh, web apps. We do have a mobile team that, that works on, um, you know, native uh, iOS and Android. Oh, wow. um, but we're actually going to be kind of building out a separate mobile design system for, for them, for Android and, and iOS. But they're going to be doing kind of the heavy lifting on the design side, and they've got their own engineers that would then um, actually do the, the coding for those components. Interesting. Interesting. And you said it's a smaller team internally? Yeah, so the design ops, so so the role that uh, for the team you'd be you'd be on um, if we were to get get there is uh, yeah you'd be one of you'd be the fifth then so it'd be myself Cam Mike Pete and then you know yourself so pretty small but it's you know it's I I've really enjoyed it like we're we're kind of insular in that like I said we can kind of decide you know what we want to work on we don't have anybody you know making uh, demands of us you know we've got all, you know lots of uh, requests for help or support here and there, but um, you know we just kind of add those things to our backlog and then bring them into sprints when we're ready. And you know we just kind of communicate out like, you know we'll we'll meet with the teams when the needs come up and just kind of level set with them like, you know this is when you could probably expect to to see something um, come back. Interesting, because Ameriprise that's a big, they're a big company. That's why I'm. So Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're huge. They're, I mean, I think it's something like 10,000, but a lot of, a lot of that uh, is advisors that are out in the field. Right. So the advisors are kind of, you know, one of, one of the, um, you know, kind of their major way they, they make money. So, you know, the marketing department that we sit within is only a few hundred people and then digital marketing, uh, which is the larger group that we, or the larger umbrella we sit under, it's probably only about 120 people. Um, so yeah, it's, it's actually a fairly small department. Gotcha. Yeah. I've been to their, uh, headquarters downtown, um, before. Oh yeah. Yeah. The big, they're in one of the bigger buildings down there. I know. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. What, uh, what part of town are you in? I didn't realize you were a local here. Yeah. Just like Brooklyn park Champlin. So. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. I grew up in, grew up in New Hope. So oh. I'm in Minnetonka right now. That's where my grandma was from. So. I've spent oh, really? a lot of time in New Hope. Yeah, absolutely. Funny, yeah. My parents still live there, so I have to <laughs> have to go up there every few weeks. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I've actually been through their offices down there. I knew a few people when I was at the U of M or getting out a few years after that actually went to work for Ameriprise and are still there. Yeah, Crazy. yeah. There's there's yeah there's some people here that are lifers. Like a lot of them will start out in like these uh, like you know. They're, they start as an intern, figure out where they want to go, and then they're just here forever. Yep. It's just like pretty insane. Because I'd only been in agencies before coming here. So it was like, you know, if you were at a place more than one or two years, you were, people were like, why are you still here? You should leave. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, one of my better friends growing up, he's been with Ameriprise for, I want to say like 10 years now. But he does more oh, of really? like uh, assistant, I don't even know what you would call it, more of uh, helping people with their accounting and things like that, I believe. I'm, don't don't quote me, I'm not oh, okay. exactly sure, but it's not anything yeah. IT related or... Right, right. But. Yeah, well, um, yeah, I don't know. What Do you do? You have any, any other questions or, uh, I mean, does it sound like a role you might be interested in? Absolutely. It sounds like it has a lot of potential. It sounds like, you know, it's... Uh, it's kind of right up my field, uh, but yeah, it's kind of absolutely. If if things move forward, I'd be very interested. 
Yeah. Um, so one of the so the the next step would be uh, so we've got a couple people out. We got two people out Friday, um, and our our schedules are kind of booked until then. So what I would do is probably talk to Susie um, and try and figure out like what your availability is, and then try and get you scheduled for an, like a an interview with um, probably Pete and Cam and myself next week. And then the the one thing to be aware of is there is uh, like a code challenge. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's just HTML, CSS, um, and really it's just to contextualize it for you. It's just we give you um, a couple of directories, subdirectories with some files that you'll need. Then there's a screenshot of like a layout that you're kind of aiming to, mm -hmm. you know, end end the challenge with. It's just like. A, horizontal list with some font icons and stuff. So should be pretty, pretty straightforward, I think. And it's more like kind of open book. So if you, you know, ask questions throughout the, the challenge, um, or even, you know, if you need to use Google or something, that's totally fine too. But it's more just to get a feel for like kind of how, you know, how you think about, you know, code challenge or like the problem and then kind of your approach to solving it. Um, so hopefully it should, shouldn't be too too big a deal. But if you're comfortable with that, um, yeah, that's what we can try and get something scheduled. That, that would be great. I've, I've definitely awesome. approached code challenges and things like that before. It's, it's not, it wouldn't be anything new. But okay. mo yeah. most of the roles I've yeah. worked recently have been like contract based. So this is more of like a full time position, correct? Yeah, it's contract there. It's kind of an open ended contract. So I think we just kind of go in like your increments and then there is always the opportunity to, to convert. Um, okay. There isn't like um, there isn't like a threshold you have to like meet, right? Like it's just, you know, if the opportunity arises and, you know, you're doing a good job and, and we want to try and keep you around for the long haul, like it's just that that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah. OK, perfect. Yeah, just the last yeah, few actually, years. I, I've, I've base mostly been ro running or doing contract type roles um, since you know like 2020 ish area. So yeah, yeah, and actually I think my, I mean myself included, everyone on the team started out as contractors and then were converted to full time. So yeah, yeah, Ameriprise is pretty great about that. That's good. great. That's I guess one question I had. Yeah, yeah. Any 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 other questions that are just kind of nuts and bolts type of thing or. Uh, I mean, not really at this here. stage, I don't think. But if again, if things move forward, I would probably have mm -hmm. much, a few more questions for sure. Sure, sure, yeah. Well, no, that sounds great. Um, yeah, I'll I'll talk to Susie uh, and Kent, and then we'll try and find a time for. Like I said, I'm I'm assuming next week because you know things are going to start getting a little. I mean, schedules will get a little choppy as people are starting to take vacation um, leading up to Christmas. But the holidays. Uh, yeah, I think we should be good. All right. Well, I really appreciate your time today and the opportunity for the interview. Yeah, no, it sounds great. Thanks for chatting with me. And uh, yeah, excited to try and get you in here next week and have you meet the other the other people on the team. That would be great. Thanks. Oh, and do you go by you go by Steve or Steven? Steve, typically, but, you know, either way, it's okay. not a big, <laughs> it's not, I get both. Okay. Yeah, same here. I, I don't correct people. I'm just like, call me whatever you want. I'm right. Sure. Yeah. Because yeah. my dad's a Steve Senior, so like I get between oh, really? the two of us, it's it kind of gets confusing around uh, family. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, all right. Well, I'll, I'll reach out, chat, chat with Subi, Susie, and we'll get you scheduled. All right. Thank you for your time today, Steve. All right. Thanks, Take Steve. care. Bye. Bye.